um, thinking about the facility, um, ensuring that there's space for every student. Um, also thinking about athletics as it pertains to that as well. Um, and how might things like budgets, facilities of athletic departments for middle and high school, how might those things be impacted um, with the transition? Um, a question around like how we are truly working toward ensuring every student has an opportunity to find success in every field that they um, want to be a part of or their passion areas. Um, and thinking about how we might have more communication with our families that are not present here or haven't had the opportunity to be a part of these meetings, um, but they are the families that are in the school that we're talking about. So how might we um, continue reaching out and getting gathering insights from those families? And last but not least, another question that just popped up was around staffing. So how might we think about the um, current staff of the schools that are that we're talking about, and how might they be impacted by this proposal? <laughs> and that's something that when we hear from the group, we're also thinking about, but also especially about how your parents and the hands of parents. So if you know, I didn't have ideas, please like us check in. Uh, we're all open to learn. Uh, I want to take that along with it. Um, England, what do you have for us? So Mr. Lachon here is going to share our card. We had a very diverse group um, with very different opinions. We have community stakeholders, we have parents, so this was an awesome group. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, we do have a very diverse group, and I'm going to report out some of the things that were discussed in the group. What I heard from the group was concerns about funding. Um, they want to make sure there's adequate funding. Um, they want to have vocational integration brought back or considered. They want to, uh, they had a concern about transportation. Uh, kids getting on buses early in the morning, uh, things of that nature. Um, also, equity with respect to um, education, quality of education. Um, this gentleman wanted to see, wanted to know that if, whether a child went to school in Nash County or Ashton County, the resources and there was just going to be equity in the quality of education that was received. I'll have it done. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, everyone, I'm Amy Pierce. Um, and our group, too, had very different opinions um, and, and thoughts and questions as well. Um, but I do think that there was a common thread that um, kind of went between each member in our group, no matter where we thought was. And it was around their love for right to mail. And a rant and concerns came from this idea of right now part edge comb part mash, and that they didn't want if a D merger to occur to further alienate edge comb county residents to right now and Nash County residents to right now. And how do we pull together if the D merger to were to occur so that right now wasn't further separated? Um, which really brought into this idea of like this need for like community readiness and a team for community readiness and how does the community to work together so that the community stays connected to each other and that they are ready to provide the resources that our kids would need to engage in the writing um, and that they were best for caring our kids. And it's also there was mention around staffing, right? Again, if they wanted to ensure that we have the best skilled, most highly qualified uh, staff put in front of their kids so those kids are getting the best Thanks, for, thanks everyone. Um, definitely give us some of the reactions. It's a really thoughtful conversation. If your question was not answered, um, again, we want to be here for that. And my, my mom just told me I had to spend the night right here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'll be down here, seriously, I'll be down here to answer like whatever lingering questions you have. You do want to say that out. We want folks to feel like um, like loved and felt and cared for. So um, I'll be here. <laughs> and so um, we, we have a survey that's out. Again, we're trying to collect as many voices as we can to help our, our commissioners make the best possible decision. But we also want them to uh, make a decision that kind of like knowing that um, we've heard from each of you. We need more survey data. We're gonna hold this open for a few more weeks. Um, we have about 70 participants, 70 respondents. So we actually we need, this, like obviously we need way more than what we have. Um, we have about a thousand people who viewed it. 
So I don't know, so maybe that's like a sort of drop off, folks are just opening it. But if you can help us in some way, like get this out there so we can get, we can get out more, more folks' voices here. And some of these questions are like, if this were to happen, we're just saying you want to see. But then some of the questions are like, are you actually in favor of the merger? We ask them directly, which will again help inform um, perform perform decisions by by Catholic Bishop. So if nothing else, you can post in the room to take a survey, but also if you could disseminate that more broadly. We have flyers. Um, England, we bring, England, we brought a few more flyers. Yes, so we have a few more flyers if you want to kind of like pass those out. And um, we have the link here. And if we have your email, I can go ahead and, I can go ahead and send that to you directly. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, if I didn't say thank you earlier, and please let me know that I appreciate you coming, I want to say it again. Thanks for coming. That's the only way we really get to understand, learn, and grow together is for you all to come out. I want to just bring your attention to a couple things that you heard. So you heard from uh, Mr. Evans. You heard your history. You heard some little information around funding and what that can look like um, for Edgecombe, for Rocky Mountain, for Nash. You heard that. You heard from um, me around the possible and the probable. And I think I, I really want you to lean into that because we are in Edgecombe. That's, that's just the space we live in. There are folks who will think, let's just get back to the basics. The basics didn't work, right? And so innovation for us is, is kind of our secret sauce. That's the way that we get at students and make sure our students can be successful. So when you think of that graph with the possible and the probable and across the bottom, the present, the future, and, and now, think about what that looks like and how we want to continue to push our students forward. You heard from Danielle Cannon around um, some of the options, and I think the table in the back really expressed these are options. These are options. They can grow, they can expand, you can receive, you can adjust, and if you're a golf player, you can be a mulligan, right? And you can redo this. It does not have to stay the exact same way. These are options. This is this is the beginning of our work to see where, where can we go. I also want you to think about, um, as we're thinking about our students, we really are serious about helping them create a life that's a good life, that's, that's worth living, that's worth being a part of. If we can get this right in Edgecombe, then we can get it right in Rocky Mount, we can get it right in North Carolina, we can get it right for our world. So these are things that I think are important. I have one, uh, not a question, but one response um, from Reverend Peace, and I just want to read it because I think it's useful. Um, I think we, we've got to think this way. He says, I feel that these same type leaders should also be held in Megan, that's okay. Hey, he's got yeah. something to say. <laughs> that's one of her specialties there. High tops and the taller area. So we've got to work on that, right? We've been in Rocky Mount three times. We felt like from our county commissioners, they said, see what the community says, but there are other communities that need to hear. So high tops, Megan, and um, Charlotte. And so we got more work to do, right? We thought we had three of three. We may have some more communities Mr. Cannon, Mr. Cannon, uh, I think some elected, more elected officials came in. Will you acknowledge who they are for the record so I can have them? Thank you. I'm Robbie Davis, Chair of the Nash County Board of Commissioners. Uh, I'm Shelly Williams, uh, State Representative. Uh, I'm the Washington Nash County Board of Education. That's our school board. They might as well get up. Uh -huh. School board. Yeah. School board. School board. Evelyn Wilson, Edgecombe County. Uh -huh. School board, District 1. Uh -huh. School board, District 3.